All right, part of our pottery business on this video. We're gonna replace the elements, I mean, uh, relays, two relays in this kill. I'm gonna show you what I've done to this thing. Uh, I ordered these off of Amazon. They just come in. I've got it already loaded with pottery. I've been waiting it burn out. The two that goes to the top section, there's four elements here. There's four elements here. There's four elements down here on this bottom side. All the relays and stuff are inside this panel. I hardwired everything. I've had a lot of trouble with this kill. Um, it burns out relays. Don't want loose connections. I've tried everything, trust me. Um, the only thing that hasn't been done is all new ele elements put in, but I have tested elements. I've tested the resistance on them. And uh, pretty much all this kill will do is bisque. I burned these elements out, the last two, trying to glaze fire one more time. Uh, but these are uh, prong bent on that one, but hopefully it's all right. I thought I was getting 30 amp. Apparently they have sent 20 amp. Let's see what this one is. Both of these are showing to be 20 amp. At 400 volts. It's 30 amp at 227. So uh, we're shooting 240. So I don't know. We're going to see how they do. But anyway, I have two. This is what our relays look like. Uh, I'm going to just show you how I change them and, and show you what I've done inside of this field to try to help make it work better. Uh, it burning out relays. This middle section was what was burning out every time, every time. So what I did, let me get this screw out. It's kind of hard to get to place. <clears throat> I need to wait about that one. I was going to show you what I was doing in there, but let me uh, let me go ahead and show you. I've got it bound apart. I was thinking I need to take this front, but I can take it off in a second. What I did, and this is my thermocouple, but I don't know if you can see that here or not. These, these four elements, I've separated. I put two on one wire, two down here on the other wire. So the bottom two are separated from the top two. But you really can't tell in there. Let me show you from the top side. You just have to bear with me for a second now. I'm just gonna put the top two screws in. I ain't gonna bore you with the whole thing. And it's fairly simple to change these relays out. Not much to it. I done done it several times, so I about wore the screws and the screw holes out. But what I did is I added a relay. Now the ones I added is not the ones that burn out. I had been burning this one out, which goes to this middle bank. I split it. Now that middle bank is run off of two relays. So I divided the power is what I was doing. It was drawing too many amps. When I put my amp meter over these wires, it was pulling like 50 amps. You gotta try to keep it down below like 24. Uh, so I divided it, got it down. But now what I've done is these two over here, let me hang this. And of course my power is off. You need to check that, the breaker is through. And before you do anything in electronics, you make sure you kill the power. Some people, they get a thrill out of working on stuff hot. I don't. I don't. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. I don't claim to be an electrician or a professional at it, but I have worked on this till I know how to do what needs to be done to it. So what I'm going to do is I can't really get a wrench in there, but this is Phillips head on one side, and I just take my needle nose pliers easy enough and uh And then you about take your finger and, and hold the back side of this. I'm gonna loosen all of them before I take any of them completely off. Once they're loose, now I can take this top one and pull it loose. Now what I normally do, 
when I'm swapping elements out, and I'm gonna show you why I'm changing this. Keep up with my stuff here. Right in here, this is burnt out. Now I'll hold it closer to the camera in just a second. Uh, but as I pull these loose, I like to go ahead and plug them on to the other relay so that I know that I've got them all back where they go. See that slipped on there real easy? You don't want that. So what I do, you want that to be tight on there. So I squeeze that a little bit. Make sure I'm getting a good snug connection. I'd rather have to work to get this on there than you do flopping around because that's what will burn out your relays. So I'm going to... And that in there is definitely on there tight. But it is not the one that burn out either. I'm just plugging them as I pull them off. Plugging them back on. Onto the, onto the new relay. Some of them are tight. Now that one, that, this is the one that's burnt out that I just pulled this blue wire. It goes to my main power coming in. And it looks like it got hot there. So I'm going to assume that it probably had to do with that maybe, in a, maybe being a loose connection there more than anything. This high power does not like loose connections at all. I'm sure you can't totally see everything I'm doing. I may have squeezed that just a little bit too tight. Not a huge problem. I take my pocket knife, one of my working blades, and I can spread that back open easy enough. Just enough to get it in there. I don't want it loose. do the other one other side a little bit i squeeze both sides down so i'm gonna have to uh and when you fool them with a pocket knife like that if you're not used to messing with one be careful they'll slip and cut you grew up with one in my pocket i don't go no more without a pocket knife it's not a weapon it is a tool squeeze all these after they on there and make sure see that one I've done it's already back loose I may need to put a new end on here I'm gonna try to be careful with it there we go okay now this is my wires my signal wires They're pretty, they're pretty snug. I'm gonna make sure I got them squeezed on there good. Okay, now that's one of them pretty well swapped out. I gotta swap the one under. Let me try to get a close up and show you. I don't know how well you can see, but this one there, you see how it's loose? It got hot right there, melted that. So what it's doing is it's not sending signal to my elements, whole set of elements is not cooking. So I've got two of them that's like this. So I'm gonna leave this one hanging out. Oh. I'm gonna have to take that screw all the way out. I was trying to cheat it out, but that's not, didn't wanna happen. Yeah, one of them's burned out bad. Actually, two of these, one whole side of this looks burned out. All right. 
make sure you grab a hold of the new one. Don't put the burn up one. I know this one's a burn up one. Easy enough to look and tell, but I have grabbed the wrong one after I laid them all down and uh, put the wrong one back on. You don't want to do that. Don't help nothing. You don't fix nothing when you do that. <laughs> See that connection there? Very, very, very loose. And that's probably why these burn out more so than anything because I have worked on this to these connections. You squeeze them as long as it's got a tight connection. And I may not have a well enough, good enough grade plugs. This plug here particularly is factory. This is an Olympic. I'm not an Olympic. This is a blue diamond keystone model we bought it used they're out of business and i know why everybody argues over what kind of kills to buy if i was going to buy a new one tomorrow it would be a scut or an l and l and uh, there's a lot of people that talk back and forth about which one of them is better but I can tell you one thing, either one of them's better than this. But that's all right. What I'm going to do with this from this point forward, I got that on there. So I'm taking a little more time putting these on there because I'm trying to make sure that my connections are tight. I don't want more problems like what I'm working on right now. I need this thing to work properly. I need it to cook. I'm getting behind on orders, garden coming in, everything that we've got going on. We try to do some what I call somewhat homesteading. I mean, we're not we're not totally living off the land by no means. We try to supplement a lot of what we do off the land, uh, which is kind of the way I was raised. We always have had gardens and and. Uh, different things so what this pottery business is is my wife's hobby turned into work which was easier than metal roofing is how I got into it so all right both of them are swapped out I'm gonna show you this one you see both sides of that burn up and you can see it even melted the top I could actually shine a light in through this grate up here and see that it was burned up so easy enough I, uh, I knew what was going on and what was wrong so it wasn't like I was having to do a bunch of testing and guesswork to figure out what I needed to do uh, now putting these two back in because there's one screw I don't know who designed this but they didn't they wasn't hitting on all eight cylinders is what I like to say or either the cornbread wasn't done all the way in the middle. They should have been spread out where they was easier to. But I'm sure whoever designed it thought this thing was going to work forever. And there was never going to be no problems with it. And nobody was ever going to have to work on it. But that failed to be the case here. I've worked on this thing more than I've worked. I knew nothing hardly about kills and how they actually work till we bought this one. We've got an L and L immediate mid-range size kill this i mean it's big enough it's big compared to what a lot of people use but we're doing production pottery we do wholesale and it's july the 6th i think 7th today's july the 7th and it's we're starting to get we're working on christmas we're starting to do christmas right now and we've got several big orders i need this kill running I don't need to be working on it. So what I'm going to do from this point forward, I think that's what I was going to tell you a while ago when I get, I get sidetracked when I'm rambling on. And I like to ramble, so I'm not going to quit. Is we're going to just bisque in this. I'm probably going to go get a new scut before too long. But they cost money. Money's something there's a limited supply on around here, so. I'm sure none of y'all have that issue. I'm sure most of you just loaded and you just go buy whatever you think of you need. I'm gonna get there one day. No, I'm not. I don't I don't want money comes with too many problems. I just wanna be happy. 
But anyway, I wanted to show you how easy it was to go in there, swap everything out. This, this relay, you see it's just laying here. It's the one that I added. I just tied into my iron. I did away, this used to have plugs right here on this side. You can see this is, I put butt connectors. I use good quality butt connectors. I wrapped it with a, this is not masking tape, even though it looks like it. It's actually an electrical keel type for high voltage heat resistant tape. Looks almost like surgical gauze, except it's narrow, or surgical tape. But anyway, I wrapped that up, insulated it. So everything, I've tried to do away with as many plug-in slip type connections as I can. If I could do away with them on these relays, I think it'd probably hit me out. But I've got all them swapped. Um, but this one, you just want to make sure when you put this back in here now that this is not any wires, any metal touching. Because, see, I've got loose, but all these wires are insulated well. Uh, I'm going to check. I'm going to wiggle some stuff. I want to make sure all my connections are tight. I don't want anything loose and wiggling. Oh. Uh, Cause that's what causes problems, causes stuff to get burnt up. But I'm fixing to bolt this top back on here right quick. And uh, we're fixing to fire this thing off. I've already got my plugs in over here on the side. And uh, and I'm going, we're going to fire this potter. I may, uh, I'm sure some of you, I've had several of my videos, people ask on my pottery videos to see some pottery. Uh, in case you don't know, we are Southern Mud Pottery. We're on Instagram and uh, Facebook as well. We do most of our business through in, uh, Instagram. Uh, it just has seemed to be a be better platform than Facebook. I think Facebook has gotten overrun with political stuff and... Uh, a lot of people that's got good sense is staying off of it. I'm, I'm about ready to delete it myself. It don't matter whether you agree or disagree with some of the stuff going on. It's just overwhelming, regardless of what you like or what you believe or agree on. People don't understand that they can disagree with somebody without being hateful in a butthole. Put my pocket knife back in my pocket. These put in the garbage. I'm gonna give you a look inside. Sorry about that. And this keel, you see the top of this? Let me get up here before I can. Coming apart, I have to be careful opening and closing this. I'm this thing. But you can see we loaded with cups. Those are ornaments over there, pictures, candlesticks. That's what I call a tombstone plate, but it's just a platter that's rounded top, flat bottom, and they're display. We paint different things on them. But all this is dried, ready to be bisque. So we fixing to go right around here. I'll show you how. This is my outside power box meter. You got breakers under there. Right now, I only have one. I can easily flip that keel on and off. If you wire up your own stuff, make sure you see how heavy this wire is. Don't try to run light gauge wire. It'll cause more problems than you can deal with. But we have this. It's basically on our carport here. I'm going to set the camera back here. I'm going to let you watch now set it off sorry about all this okay we got where it error the last time it's still saying error now we're gonna go to slow bisque enter slow bisque enter cone we want to go to 04 we cook all our bisque at 04 we glaze to six enter Hold, we don't want no hold. Ready, start, on. Wait, hear it? Kicked on and off. Thank y'all for watching my video. I may do another one on some of the pottery that we've got made. Uh, 
I'm not going to show you make it, me making pottery because we kind of, the way we do things, we try to keep that to ourselves. You don't show everybody how you do what you're making money at because then everybody else will start doing it. I will show some of what we've made later on, but I just wanted to give you a quick change in a relay, basically. Uh, it's pretty simple. A lot of people don't think that they can do that, uh, but it's easy enough if you pay attention. Just make sure you kill the power before you open this up. If you're a professional and you've done it all your life, you ain't watching my video to learn how to change a relay. So those of you that are thinking about, I want to change the relays in my kill, I'm just an old country boy from down in Mississippi that makes pottery for a living now. And uh, I know how to work on stuff myself or either I try to learn how. So kill the power. The worst case scenario is I tear this up trying to work on it myself. But you can't tear up something that don't work right. So you pay somebody a fortune to come out here and work on it every time something happens or you can learn to do it yourself. Changing a relay is very simple. If that bank of elements is not heating up, I crack the lid or you can do a paper test. There's a lot of ways to figure out if it's not working. Voltmeters are probably the best way. Open it up, take a voltmeter, stick it to your wires if it's showing power. But don't do that unless you feel comfortable you know what you're doing with a voltmeter. If you've never fooled with electricity, don't attempt it. Kill the power. There's other ways to tell. Uh, while it's running, open the lid. If that bank of elements is not orange and the rest of them are, cut it off, kill the power, follow the wires. Follow the wires to which element it is or which relay it is, and look at that relay. There should be a melted spot. Uh, for me, I took a voltmeter. I tested on the first time that wasn't a melted spot, and I figured out that it wasn't coming on and off and wouldn't show no power. An amp meter is another thing. It clamps over the wire. It'll show you how many amps is going through that wire. That's how I figured out I needed to divide these because it was pulling way too many. Uh, I probably should check that now, but I'm not going to. I'm, uh, I'm going to let this thing run. I pretty well know that it'll cook like this. I burned those two up trying to glaze fire the cone six. This kill's not going to ever cook the cone six. It's proved to me that it's it's good for bisque, and that's it. But if it'll bisque, I'm okay with that. I have another kill to glaze in, and uh, I'm probably going to try to save up some money and buy me a scut. That's why we have an Olympic. And I'm not an Olympic. We have an L&L, and it has been a workhorse. Um, for the last three years, it cooks at least every other day to cone six. And it'll do it. Thank y'all for watching the video. Like, subscribe.